case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1994, the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit heard a case between Nintendo of America Inc. and Louis Galoob Toys Inc. The case revolved around the concept of compensating a wrongfully sued party for damages caused by a judge's order to cease certain actions. The conflict began with Nintendo filing a copyright infringement lawsuit against Louis Galoob Toys over the development of their Game Genie product, which allowed users to alter video games on the popular Nintendo Entertainment System, NES. Before Galoob could sell a single unit, Nintendo obtained a preliminary injunction, and the court executed a $15 million bond as security for the injunction. Galoob claimed they lost 1.6 million Game Genie sales due to the injunction, amounting to a lost profit of $15,138,048. Nintendo appealed the decision, arguing that the district court failed to consider equitable considerations, wrongly determined harm to Galoob, and inaccurately calculated the damages. The court ultimately denied Nintendo's appeal and upheld the district court's decision to award Galoob the entire $15 million bond. The court ruled that Galoob's business suffered significant harm due to the delays caused by the injunction and that public policy favored issuing injunctions in intellectual property cases. Furthermore, the court found that Galoob's damages were proven with reasonable certainty and the district court's calculations were accurate. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class behind.